need more privacy online or just want to change your IP address, let's fix that in Brave Browser. In this video, I will show you exactly how to set up proxies in Brave Browser, including SOX, HTTP, and HTTPS step by step. Now, here's the important part. Brave Browser doesn't have its own proxy menu. Instead, it relies on your system proxy settings. So once you configure the proxy on your computer, Brave Browser will automatically use it. Let's jump right in and set it up. First, open your Brave Browser. Click the menu in the top right corner, scroll down and click on Settings. On the left hand menu, scroll down and click on System. Here, you will see an option that says Open your computer's proxy settings. Click on that. On a Windows computer, you will see a screen like this. Click Set up manual proxy and follow the on-screen instructions to complete your proxy setup. And if you're using a Mac, your screen will look a little different. You'll see a number of options here, but for the purpose of this video, we'll focus on the three that really matter. That is the web proxy, where you enter the address and port for an HTTP proxy. The secure web proxy, same idea, but for HTTPS connections. And lastly, the SOX proxy, where you can set up your SOX4 or SOX5, which is often used for privacy or tunneling all of your traffic. Now, choose the type of proxy you want to use and turn it on right here. Enter the IP address and port number from your proxy provider. If your proxy requires a username and password, just turn this on, type them in, and you're good to go. Click OK to save your settings. From now on, Brave Browser will automatically route traffic through the proxy you just set up. And if for some reason your proxy isn't working, maybe it's expired, weak, or just slowing down your connection, you can always go back to your computer's proxy settings and update your proxy details with a new one, or turn the proxy off completely. And that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.